What's up? How are you guys today? More than a few of you were asking for an apartment tour and uh, I mean, I don't really have much to show you guys, but I decided we can do it anyway. Uh, this is actually part of a house that's north of the city. It's kind of by the Connecticut border and uh, it's a very, very nice neighborhood. I got this because I thought it was going to be lower uh, radiation EMF, which I wasn't so correct about, but we'll get into that. And I also didn't know that uh, other people in the house were smoking, but it's actually not that big of a deal uh, because it is kind of sectioned off. I'm paying around 3000 a month, which probably sounds crazy to you guys, but in New York, uh, it was actually a very, very good deal at the time. You know, otherwise I'll have to go into the city or go further south or get something. It's very, very nice, a lot of space for the price I'm paying, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> However, I am going broke, so uh, this is more of like a temporary living situation, so I haven't exactly moved in, gotten furniture, unpacked all of my stuff yet. Uh, maybe I'll do a few more things if I know I'm going to be here uh, a little longer, but as of right now, uh, this is what we have. Okay, so this is sectioned off from the rest of the house. So the smoke kind of seeps in sometimes, but I've been running uh, like three air purifiers, which has helped a bit. I mean, I should have gotten these in uh, my previous house anyway. Um, they're around a few hundred dollars each and they do a pretty good job. Uh, this is just some cardboard I got to throw out. That's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff I still have to unpack. Old chair old desk probably gonna get thrown out this is just some lighting a lot of this guy's is camera stuff and stuff for my business that's some paperwork here is our lovely whiteboard I did buy a few plants to also help increase the air quality but I haven't really been using this room guys it's pretty big space nice amount of light I was planning on moving the whiteboard over here maybe to have against this wall and this is kind of the rest of my stuff uh, most of this is clothes. Uh, some of this is electronics and old camera equipment that I actually probably have to throw out. And then over here, we go into the kitchen. Uh, there is uh, a router and some anti-radiation stuff here, but I'm going to keep the radiation stuff in a separate video for the most part. And we're also going to kind of go through the kitchen equipment in a separate video because I do have all that stuff on Amazon and it's going to take a while. So here we just have some recycle and some glass bottles I got to throw out. That's just uh, stuff I was going to make a vegan bread pudding. My water that I'm drinking every day. Uh, some glasses that I don't really want to take out of the box because if I have to move, they're going to be hard to move. But this is the kitchen. <laughs> My lack of furniture. We have the table there. You know, it's nice. It's small. It's older stuff. But everything runs great. All that older stuff runs great. We got my new Scotch collection up there. I actually don't like most of these guys. We got a uh, Bowmore 18 Aaron single malt, which I don't really like. So maybe if you guys want them in the comments, just let me know. I do like the Dalmore though. That's my favorite. So maybe we'll do a Scotch giveaway. I'm, again, I'm not going to go through all the kitchen equipment because um, you know I did buy some stuff that's like in here, different sorts of healthy cooking utensils and and different kind of stuff like that. My knives, my pans, but. Nice, all the foods up here. You guys kind of saw it with the pantry tour. And uh, I like keeping things pretty clean. I go through a lot of kitchen towels. So these are clean ones. There's a few dirty ones. These are black towels. That's just some spices, another plant. I, I might get more plants, uh, but it's getting a little expensive to water them because I don't have a decent filtration system. This is where I've been eating. Another air filter running. So sometimes you guys will hear this kind of noise in the background. That's usually the air filter old dehydrator I got to throw out and just uh, some more kitchen stuff like new ceramic rice cooker. Again, I'll go through that stuff in a, in a separate kitchen video, but this is the kitchen. Nice, decent amount of space. Uh, heating could be a little better, but we'll talk about that. So the, the radiation in this uh, kitchen is actually a problem. I might put something on the ceiling. One of the reasons I actually got this apartment was again because I didn't think there was someone above me so the radiation was going to be lower but there actually is. Uh, so there's some devices in the apartment above me that I think if I put like a layer of copper or something or silver on the ceiling it would greatly reduce the radiation. So then from the kitchen we go into the bedroom <laughs> aka film studio. I wouldn't really <laughs> consider this a bedroom. Another air filter here. I'll probably do a an entire separate video on the air filtration too and all the plants and stuff 
uh, that I have in here as well. And I know I've said it a few times, guys, that we'll talk about the radiation in a separate video, but I do want to show one thing here. So these are the Wi-Fi shielding curtains. And what's kind of crazy Big Brother-esque to me is there's actually an antenna on a pole out there pointing directly into this room, uh, which is why I put these up, because the radiation in here is kind of moderate, or low actually, but as soon as you go outside this curtain, the radiation turns high, which means there's a beam <laughs> coming directly at this curtain and reflecting back in. Kind of creepy to me. Bunch of random tools, uh, some more of my camera equipment and stuff like that. We got a new vlogging camera, so I don't have to carry this expensive thing around. Uh, this is a, a strobe light that I might actually have to return because I don't like it. Some more camera equipment lying on the floor over here. We got our fireplace that you guys saw me cook the s'mores on. There's actually no light in this room, so I've been just using this thing, which is one of my old lights. So I'll turn that on and I'll have some light in this room. I got some more crap over here that I got to get rid of. I uh, didn't unpack most of my clothes, so I'm just kind of keeping a few outfits over here for now and a lot of towels and stuff that I used to clean with, but I'm really just rotating between three outfits, haven't kind of moved in yet. Also got some like UVB uh, grow lamps for these plants that I'll turn on a few times a week. Uh, space heater because I got to fix the heat in this room, some more clothes to throw away, but overall the bedroom has a decent amount of space. This is my uh, sleeping canopy. I actually had to layer three of these canopies guys which is crazy but the amount of radiation that was coming from that antenna uh was actually insane so you know when you guys get these curtains on wi-fi shielding one it might not be enough definitely not in a city two is usually good enough sometimes you need three and we got two more over here uh with my computer set up here and i hang these on uh some stands that you guys can see and then we have the green screen back there so not you know the most comfortable living situation I, i'd rather have you know this separate and a nice bed and all that type of stuff but again i don't know how long i'm going to be staying here so maybe we'll do that in the future but just some really simple stuff i picked up at target you know no nice furniture nothing nice yet i mean i don't really think this is that interesting but you guys probably do uh, so the bathroom is nice and big uh, i didn't get a shower curtain yet i don't really care. I don't think I need it, although I did buy a bar for it. This is really nice, although it's kind of like sketchy because you got to step down into it, but the material used on the floor is really non-stick, so I haven't even slipped, even close to slipping at least once. Uh, I mean, everything's old, but it kind of works. We had to get the sink and the faucet fixed, but everything's good. Everything's nice. I mean, the only outlet is over here on the wall, so I have to kind of run the line over there. And here is just, uh, I got my vacuum, some laundry stuff, more towels, toilet paper and stuff up there. So maybe we'll do like a grooming video or something. I mean, I've done that before, but got some baby wipes over here. So that's really it. I guess not that much to show you guys. Although if we went into like all the kitchen stuff and all the radiation stuff, this would be like a, a 30 or 40 minute video. Uh, as I said earlier, I still have a lot of stuff to unpack. So. Uh, because of my poor memory, I'm going to actually have to go through all of those boxes again, kind of see what's in them, organize them a little bit better, see if I want to take anything out. And uh, there's other little things here and there, like putting a water filtration system on the sink, which I probably don't want to do yet. But uh, overall, I'm happy here. The, the radiation isn't too high. I'm a lot closer to work. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm not taking any girls home with this fucking thing, but um, we'll figure something out. So maybe uh, in a week or two, we'll do like a kitchen equipment video, but you guys can see all that stuff right now on my Amazon shop.com slash Frank Defano. Just like steel, I mean, I had to buy a lot of stuff uh, moving because I didn't have some of the kitchen equipment. And then uh, we'll do a whole thing on the radiation, the Wi-Fi shielding. I'm just holding off on that because I want to see if I'm going to put uh, the fabric on the ceiling, which is, is a little bit of work. It's not too crazy, you know, just using some pins or something. But uh, if you guys do want to support me, you can check out frank com to look at all of my businesses before uh, Frank ends up living in his car in L.A. or something after he fucking gives up. Actually, Beach in Mexico sounds like a better idea. I think the Honda will make it there. But uh, as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I guess I didn't talk about the location that much. 
Um, on one hand, you know, since I'm probably moving like permanently away from the city, I kind of wanted to get something closer and maybe try to go out and have some fun. But with like my business, my current liver health, uh, guys, I just wake up, go to work, like <laughs> come home, eat something, do more work on my computer, and that's the whole day. Like that's all I can do. So um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.